Okay. Where were we? Wow, that stranger does not like my my bear hat. That's the best thing I own. Wow, they're all no one likes my bear hat. Is that fire is that our campsite? No, it's gotta be someone else. Let me greet him. Why won't you let me greet him? Hello, mister. We got a long way to go, huh? I asked my boys here if they would help their pa build a, a new house. Thought I'd teach them a few things, you know. Couldn't hammer a nail to save their lives. Ain't that right, Curtis? Whatever you say, pa. Oh. Ooh. In holy hell are you okay. Boy? Get that back up again right now. I, I'm going to be 100 years old by the time we get this done. No, 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 no. Get away from it. Get away from it before you mess it up even worse than it is. Can I help at all? All the best. You too, friend. Like the way we're doing it, he should do it himself. Damn straight. Let's just enjoy the silence for a few minutes before he starts rocking at us again. I want to know what the other son's name is. Okay, so Curtis is standing. I can't even greet them. I can only antagonize them. You boys don't seem cut out for this. Oh, I agree. We ain't. This is our Paul's dumb idea. So, yeah. Well, okay. Guess I can't help you. Well, don't feel you have to hang around on my account. Okay, boy. Ooh, I hear a mountain lion. Oop, did we just run over something? We ran over something. Sparrow. All right, boy.
Okay, literally every single person that's passing me is is gonna complain about my my amazing bear hat. The last time I played this, I just let them rob me because I was trying to be nice and compliant. Or I ran. Reckon I probably shouldn't carry the body of an Adriscoll into Adriscoll territory. That, like, that nice leap. Um, Roller horse doing some work. Excuse me. There's someone here. More sons trying to learn how to build houses. Hey there. Can I help you? Just taking a look. We're with the Appleseed Timber Company. Head foreman. They're getting started on this site, but we should have some. Fine, big valley lumber for sale very soon if you're interested. I'll keep that in mind. We should be further along by now, but what can you do? I mean, look at these dolts. There's not a brain between them. Listen, you got any supplies for sale? Food? Medicine? I'm starting to run low. I can't spare anyone to go in town. Not the way things are going. I'd be happy to pay premium for them. Sure. Honestly, I don't think I ever used any of these things. My Arthur was uh, unintentionally a <laughs> straight edge. I never did that before. Um, okay, I wonder if that'll lead it anywhere. All I did was give him a bunch of booze and like two pieces yep. of meat.
Oh god, that could have been bad. I could have ran straight into that rock and flipped over. I got bit by a snake! Get on the horse. None of this is familiar to me, but it all looks the same, so... Are you gonna get on the horse? Or am I just no gonna... Out here anyway. Come on. Natural habitat. Do I need to help you get on the horse, or... Sure this is the right way? Come on. Or, or am I just gonna ride slowly and you're gonna follow me? Oh, I guess we're okay. I could you could have just ridden on the horse. I'm from New York City, actually. Do people from New York City not ride horses when other people are gonna ride? So I thought it might be quite the trip to see what all the fuss was. Perhaps make a few investments while it was still undervalued. Turns out I was made the fool. Not enjoying it, Dan. It's a town of splinters. If you could call it much of a town at all, I'd hardly stepped off the carriage and I'd taken in the whole place. I suppose some might call it charming. <laughs> Let me tell you, charm is not worth much these days. You show me a timber frame shack and I'll show you Broadway. And meanwhile, you have this mayor, a quite intolerable blowhard, a little bit spoke woodwork and he thinks this is a cultural hub? The man's completely deluded. Well, I should give him some credit. He must be quite the salesman. He did get me out here after all. More fool me. Now I'm tromping through the leaves in the muck with some cowboy. Uh, no, no offense. Little taken. Trying to find out when Broadway was created. Oh yes. I guess I'd never thought about it until he just mentioned it. Um... Oops, not paying attention, just wrote it off the side. Okay. So in the 1840s, P.T. Barnum was operating an entertainment complex in Lower Manhattan. In 1829, at Broadway and Prince Street, Niblo's Garden opened and soon became one of New York's premier night, night stops. So, guessing early 1800s? Wait, hold on, the company moved to New York in 1753. Oh, are we close to town? Okay, so the Broadway theater itself was founded, it was opened in 1924, but the Broadway he's referring to is probably not actually the literal theater. It's the, uh, the area. Can I wait until I'm like out of earshot before I start yelling New Yorkers? Ooh, I got mail. Looking to sell your wares or buy some of the finest meat to ever grace this town? Nope. Welcome. Yeah, heard that. 
Hold on, we gotta yeah. listen to this combo. You got a problem or something? Get out of the way! Get out of- Oh my god! I'm just trying to listen to this other conversation about Appleseed bringing in foreigners from out of- What is your problem? Anyway, did you all want to keep talking? Someone put you up to wearing that. Guess they're not going to say anything. I'm not allowed to loot him without getting in trouble, but I can kick his head. Uh, didn't forget anything. I just got punched in the face first, so I needed to... Oh, I don't have any mail? How much is my bounty? I'll just take care of that record for you directly. Twenty dollars? No! Take care. I'd rather die than pay twenty dollars. Is this the man that punched me? Yeah. Yeah, you better run. Hmm, I thought you were supposed to talk to Micah here. I guess not. Maybe that's later. Maybe we have to go in the front door first. Trodden shit. Hmm, why am I not able to do this? That's weird. Why is this why is this locked? It's normally not locked. at an end. Now get lost. Okay. I ain't looking to cause problems. Don't let me see you anytime soon, you hear? Why? I just came in and looked around for a second on the left. You can't tell me you went all the way to Strawberry and that mission is now unavailable. Oh, my health core is empty. Okay, I should probably eat something. Um... Okay, that did not do what I wanted it to do. Could you not litter? Oh my god, Arthur. I like the spam bot that's in chat. Um, <laughs> as about Crimson Inanimate Vindication 2, you are the man. I'm <laughs> like, that's <laughs> no human being, whatever. Just uncritically say <laughs> in all caps, Crimson Vindication, Vindication. 
Crimson Inanimate Vindication 2. Okay, so yeah, I, I really don't know why this is uh, grayed out when normally it's not. But that's inconvenient, we're all the way over here. Do we go here instead? I, I don't know. But let's check the, uh, the, the post office first, because there's still a symbol over that. Maybe that has something to do with it. Or maybe we're supposed to come at night. You know, I bet we're supposed to come at night because we're trying to sneak him out. You get that kid up? But I don't remember doing this mission at night. I remember being broad daylight when Micah starts, like, shooting everyone because he's an idiot. Hello, sir. Hey, partner. Fine, I guess I'll pay the bounty. Maybe I need to. Sending that to New Hanover. I don't. I don't even see the post office guy. Isn't there supposed to be a man standing over here? What is happening? Okay, well let's just camp and come back at night and see if that helps. Sleep until night. Oh, I should have cooked. I have so much stuff. Oh, actually, uh, maybe we should have seen if they had any cool clothes here first before we become an outlaw. Okay, yeah, so it looks like I have to do this at night or at certain hours because now it's fine. Come on, Ruther Horse. Come on, Ruther Horse. Work with me. Come on, Ruther Horse. Come on, Ruther Horse. Ruther Horse. Ruther Horse, calm down. Calm down. Go down these stairs faster. Perfect. Good boy. Good boy. I'm not in your way. Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Well, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silent. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you. Swing. 
You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. I don't know what a steam donkey is, but that sounds like a cool a cool cartoon character. Just pull that lever. Come on. Oh my god. My god. I mean... I'm wearing a mask. How do you know it's me? It's okay, this, this bulletproof bear will protect me. Yeah, okay, there we go. I was like, I'm trying to make the, the horses panic so they'll run people over. That did not work. Say my name in public while we're sh getting shot at. I want you to not be doing what you're currently doing. What's that? Can't even check on Norman. Oh my god, Micah. Micah, what's the matter with you?
Maybe we, maybe I should just let us all get shot here. I mean, I remember Micah being a piece of shit and this mission being uh, like a really good indicator of his character. But I forgot exactly what happened and this is bad. Oh, whoops, they're behind me. Or is that Micah? I can't tell. It's, it's okay, it's Micah. Why don't I just take my horse unless Brother Horse died? I hope Brother Horse didn't die. I'm gonna be real upset if Brother Brother Horse is died dead. That that man sounded like a Muppet. We just killed a Muppet. Gotta shoot that grass, that grass had a coming. Don't shoot behind you when I'm right here. You're gonna shoot me instead. I think this is Brother Horse. I think. I didn't even realize there were storms in this game. Yeah, good boy. Whoa there. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. It's my way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. Why you act all sour all the yeah, time? Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me. Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. Sometimes brothers make mistakes. Now I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. You ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. Bye now. Yeah! Ah, well that was a, that was a mess. Let's go check out this mission, which I vaguely remember. We have to like hide by the river. Yeah. 
we gotta like go around so we aren't just following the road, because if you follow the road, they get mad at you. And by get mad at you, I mean they try to kill you, and they often do. Come on, Rother Horse. This actually might not be Rother Horse. I'm pretty sure it is. But for some reason, it didn't show his name earlier. Let's, let's double check to make sure this is Rother Horse. It is Rother Horse. Don't aim your weapon at Rother Horse. That was kind of a cute yeah, snuggle in. Water, see how things lie. Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and, ah, pictures of Dutch and Altea. Oh, oh, he got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's going to remain for now. Who's that behind us? Who is crawling behind us? Is that one of us? We don't want to try them publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or cut him loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure. Well, we'll rescue Sean and we'll get ourselves lost good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Follow me, boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. It's definitely as bad as we feared in there, Arthur. I keep hearing about this woman, Heidi McCord. Some young mother, they're saying, Dutch murdered on the boat. Hold on a second. Maybe I'll should ride faster. That's our boat. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Come on. Let's keep them inside. His voice kind of sounds like uh, Salt Spire from Vermintide. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Who 
Push up, come on. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that's just gonna keep petting Rather Horse in this cutscene over and over again. Just vigorously pet him, Arthur. Keep petting him. Yeah, keep petting him. You're not done petting him. Rather Horse demands more pets. God damn it, I was trying to see how much I can get away with before it cuts out a cinematic camera. You can't aim at people right. without it happening. Take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. about Ike Skelton's boys, but I hear they're a big crew, wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. They're taking the hobbits to Isengard. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Actually, yeah. Maybe we can quietly uh, bow and arrow them when they're not looking. This is not going to work. I like Trelawney's coat. We should do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Get do the dirty on them. Keep your head down. Fine, you want to do knives. I probably shouldn't have done a throwing knife when I could have hit Trelawney. Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Sorry I threw a knife and almost hit you. Oh my god, why did you have to yell? I was gonna sneak up on them and arrow them like I just did. 
and then you went to scream. It's okay, everyone. We're, we're still gonna win. We're gonna win with arrows. Who needs guns? Oh, I did not mean to stand up. Okay. We're okay. <laughs> okay, arrows take a lot more aiming than the gun does. I mean, that, that worked for a longer period of time than I thought it would. I like how that man did not turn around even though he just saw his friend get a knife to his back. Okay, let's get after him. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Right, this time we're not going to use arrows. I don't know if I can hit him from up here. Yep, I can. That seems a little... a little questionable. I want to get on this horse! I want to get on this horse! I'm not allowed to get on this horse. And I got shot after falling off that horse. Up uh, what do you mean up there on the cliff? I already got him. See, how do we not accidentally shoot Charles? Two more, look out. That was someone that I knew. 
I don't know how they don't do that. What about me? Cabin? Which cabin? Over here? Yeah, you will, Sean. I don't even remember you doing anything else in this game. Or we can just push him. From that other angle, Arthur. Come on. Yeah, I think he dies in the cornfield in, in like two chapters. It's very sad. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this game. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <laughs> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all missed me a lot. But fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. I don't see why... I mean, from a gameplay perspective I get why, but I don't see why... Um, we wouldn't have Charles also loot the camp and then leave with us. Because I know we're trying to split up, but I think... We can loot this faster with two people, and then... And then get out of here. Cause I feel like last time I took too long and then people came anyway and I had to kill him. Can't even get in? Ugh. See, fucking, this is what happens. Crime reported, now they're looking for me. And now I'm just standing here, and there wasn't even anything good to loot. Yep. Come on, brother horse. Let's get out of here. There, boy. <laughs> I wonder if there is anything actually valuable. Because last time I stuck around for a while, I didn't see anything. And I had to shoot more people.
You're okay, brother horse. Okay, so I think this is... I didn't see any other green circles, so maybe we're almost done with this chapter? Or maybe they're just gonna give us another set. Ooh, hold on, a stranger. There was a big question mark, so I thought I, I was supposed to come in here. I'm kind of new to these parts. Hello, you mister. Sure you can keep up? Hello. Well. Oh, it's just poker. Ugh. Although, no, because there's still a question mark here that is not just the poker. So it's got to be... Wow. Those are fighting words. Oh, is this the cigarette cards guy? Yeah, do you smoke, sir? Oh my god, I have such a good memory. Sure. <laughs> Perhaps not as much as you. Oh, <laughs> no, no, don't worry about these. Actually, we'll take some. Take a couple of packs. Take a few. Oh, thank you. What are all the cigarettes for? Are you heading on a long journey or something? <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that at all. I'm just interested in the cards. Okay. Cigarette cards. Oh, you got any? Yeah? Well, get them out. Let me take a look. Come on, come on. A little picture card? Yeah, I'll pay you a good price. Okay. Here. Ah, nothing I haven't got. The value is in completing the set. Sometimes I'll smoke up to 200 cigarettes in one day, just so I can keep opening the packs. I wish I could explain to you the pleasure and the pain I get out of collecting these babies. Sure. Uh, it sounds, uh... Thrilling? Yeah, it is. Not to mention the vast amounts of life-reaffirming cigarettes I get to smoke. Oh. And the amount of money? <laughs> a veritable fortune, sir. Fortune? Oh, sure, sure! A complete set of any series is worth a fortune. Yeah, look at this. Gunslingers. Over here? Circus freaks. Yes, yes, yes. Meow meows of the desert. Meow meows of the desert? I never knew. Sure. How much? Well, it depends on the rarity, sir. Oh, of course. Yeah. You know, if you ever get a complete set, I can uh, take it off your hands. You'd pay me. A fair price. Now you send them to me right here. Phineas T. Rambottom. At your service. Okay, I gotta run. This is my train. Look me up, okay? Think about this deal. Only a complete set. That's where the value lies. And I never completed a single set. Oh, look at Brother Horse. He tethered himself to uh, to this little stand. How nice. You're okay, boy. Okay, boy. Trains are the devil. Never should have built trains. Trains are the horse killers. Oh, okay. I've been on the run for days it's this guy. Now. If you could help me with these shackles, I'd... I just might have a chance. Okay, let's not miss. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. We're not gonna right. touch a fucking oh, button. Mm -hmm. I, because if we do, we're gonna punch him in the you, face. I think I might got something even better. Yes. Some of those fellows talked about this. I know. Please just give it to me. Strawberry. Got herself a tidy sum locked away. Maybe just stories, but they were sure excited. Oh yeah. 
Why'd I be interested in that, huh? Well, I'm just a hunch. Up to you, friend. Hey, we didn't punch him in the face. Good. Okay, boy. Yeah. Trains are the devil. Yeah, we got we got no missions. Maybe we gotta go to sleep. Oh wait, Sean's back. We have to have that scene where they all sing with Sean. Arthur, oh Arthur, hey, you seem in a good mood. I am, son. I am. Let's have some fun tonight. Let's enjoy ourselves. Are we having a party? Maybe. Just a little one. Great. Well, Mr. McGuire is back. back home now, so come on. So everything's going to be okay. Uncle Sean is back. And don't you worry, Miss Grimshaw, you old crone. I'll keep them girls in line. If I have to whip them, I will. And don't you worry, Mr. Pearson, you drunk old shitbag. It'll be nothing but the, the finest game in the pot. Now, Dead Eye Maguire's back. <laughs> and don't worry about nothing, Mrs. Grimshaw. We'll have this camp running like clockwork. <laughs> I love you bastards. <laughs> have fun. Have lots of fun. <laughs> Look after your boy tonight. He's not my boy. Okay. Okay. I suppose. You're looking lovely as ever, if I may say so. Oh, stop it. Imagine riding with him all the way from Blackwater to here. This stupid. So, what now? Damn it, Sean. How about a song? <laughs> He'll be drinking till dawn now, what that? Oh, let him Listen, have some fun. Friend. He's been through a lot. You know the I thought you lady. Irish enjoyed a party, Molly. I am enjoying it. I just don't need to fall over drunk with the rest of them. You know this one, don't you? Go join in. <laughs> Mark well what I do say. And she was Mr. Summertrain. It was little, little, little all the day. Arthur, you're off rhythm. Arthur, you're off rhythm. I think it's cute that he doesn't know the words, though. Arthur, you're off rhythm. Oh my god, uh, I can't. Stop singing. around like I'm drunk but I really just can't find how to sit on this log. Oh, I can't sit on the log, I just have to sit on the ground. That's right. And, and if you can tell the difference between a the, the difference between a sheep and a, a, a sheep and, and a man, then you, you, well, you, the, you that makes you a better man than me, sir. 
And that's all I'm saying. Mark my words. All of you, mark my words. Stupid army. Sheep. Sure. I don't think I've done this before. No, this dance is all flair. Just gonna keep flaring. You think you're done? No, you're not done. Keep spinning. Did I did I say to stop spinning? I did not say to stop spinning. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna win this dancing so hard. Perfect. Best answer. Okay. Well, thank you, Mr. Morgan. She loved it. Best answer. World's best answer. Javier. I thought Javier was playing the guitar somewhere. Where is Javier? He was singing. And oh, there he is. Oh, he stopped playing the guitar. Screw you. Got a letter. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. 
I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Charles takes Arthur hunting, or we can do Mary's thing, which is a plot requirement. Uh, Albert Mason needs some help with wildlife photography. Let's, I mean, we're going to try to breeze through this. So let's just do Mary's and see if we're closing up the end of the chapter. Actually, I could just look up and see how many more mandatory chapters there are. Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. Okay. Um. Do we have a name for this mission? We loved once and true. Okay. So I think we have three more after that. Because yeah, an American pastoral scene is the, the side mission, right? Oh no, Arcadia for amateurs, that's what that's called. Okay, so I think we got four left including um this one nope actually we got a bunch more because some of these i just have they just haven't loaded yet okay we got a bunch more so the plan is we're gonna do mary's um and then we are going to take a break for today let's just get mary's done I'm still sad about my horrors. Good, good, good. there were fewer of them than there were. I mean, I was going to have to shoot anyway. I mean, if you're so close to camp, you might as well just ambush us on camp. I mean, you're not going to follow me into town, are you?
You know, I thought I thought we were gonna jump over that fence instead of just knock that part of the fence off. What, you're not gonna go upstairs? You're afraid to go upstairs, brother horse? A couple stairs scare you? I'll go see. Mrs. Linton, a collar for you. Hello, Arthur. Mary. Um, I heard you and your friends was around. I. Okay. Where's what's his name? Died. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, me too. Happened a while ago. Pneumonia. Bad business. Sure. So, uh, well, you, you've been... <clears throat> you've been made a widow and you come here looking for me, is that it? No, ain't like that, Arthur. Ah, okay. I... My family. I need your help. You mean the family that always looked down on me? You want me to help? It's my little brother, Jamie. <laughs> I always liked Jamie. At least compared to the rest. Is this the one where he's in a cult, or is this is that later? He's broken Daddy's heart. Daddy has a heart? Don't make me beg you, Arthur. My money, my life, me. I wasn't good enough. I'm sorry. We need your help real bad. Little Jamie's joined the Chelonians. Oh no, it's this one. Ah, oh, this took me so long. They're quite mad. Because I kept They're hitting killing. things with my You're horse. You're the only person he'd listen to. So, I'm too rough to marry into your family, but it's okay. One of these, one of uh, several of these mistakes, I think, from the from the compilation of me falling, is from this mission. But I think of you often. Long time ago now. I'm begging you, Arthur. I say let Jamie live Jamie's life and not the nightmare that his daddy dreamed up for him. Jamie's so innocent, Arthur. Please, Arthur. Will you help me? Where is he? Somewhere out near Carmody Dell, I think. The rancher there said he'd seen him around the Cumberland Forest area. I just want him back, Arthur. If you find him, bring him to me at the station. I'll see what I can do. I'll owe you. Why the station? What if, I'm, what if I'm done, like, immediately? What if you're not at the station? Isn't it safer to bring him back here? Even if you're planning on leaving? Other horse. Yeah, okay. We're gonna do a good job and we're not gonna fall a million times when we're saving him from the cult. One take. One take is all it'll take.
that. I was just about to say, is she okay? Sure. Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, boy. Let's go. You know Emerald Ranch? Mind taking me there? Sir, I know a shortcut. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. That fool, always complaining, but does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away, aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. But Biscuit, he was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on and I must have made some sort of... You okay? Sorry, I mean, you're, you're closer, excuse, hey, I can still, I can still take you to Emerald Ranch, I can still take you to Emerald Ranch, now, now I gotta do what Steve did. Okay, um, I was just gonna pick you up and take you to Emerald Ranch. Okay, uh, see you later. Brother Horse, look what you did. Come on, work with me. There we go. Yeah, okay, boy. Yeah, that's it, boy. Yeah, good boy. Speak to the boy. Arthur? Hello, son. Your sister is very worried.
sister just wants to speak with her. Arthur? I'll choose a path. The boy has chosen a path. He's chosen safety. What path have you chosen, sir? I'm still searching, I guess. We are all searching. Chelonianism is about searching. What do we search for, do you think? I don't know. Safety? Safety and meaning? <laughs> Jamie knows the truth. But you all look sunburned. You may speak with him. Exactly. If your teachings are so great, what harm can I do? I'm... I'm not... I'm not coming with you, Arthur! Just come and speak with Mary, then make up your mind! Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! Okay, let's try to not fail this. Uh, and then the wagon comes on the left, and then you can slam into the wagon when it comes over. Oh no, look, it's the wagon coming from the left! And then there's a group of people that are working in the middle of a forest, and they get upset when we run through them. Oh look, there's the people in the middle of the forest that are upset because we ran through their camp. And then there's a bunch of sheep, I think. And you're running through all the sheep or the cows. Oh my god. Come on, Rother Horse. Come on, Rother Horse. We're gonna miss the cow part. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. And then after the cow part, there's a train, and he runs across the train tracks. Nope. Calm, calm down. Calm down, Rother Horse. Calm down, Rother Horse. Calm down, Rother Horse. This time, it was entirely Rother Horse's fault. Leave me alone, Arthur! I didn't ask for your help! I am impressed that I remembered most of that uh, without prompting after more than a year of playing this. I, I forgot that there was the, the water ridge and then the, the the farmer's field, but I got the first two obstacles and then the last two. I remember eventually I just like cut him off by not directly following him because Arthur is psychic and knows exactly where he's planning on going. <laughs> so you make a bay line for this ridge. I actually don't even know if you can cut him off ahead of time. Or if you have to go all the- you might have to go all the way to the bridge. Uh, or to the, the train tracks. 
Uh, and then I think I, I didn't even like go through part of the the forest or the field. Come on, boy! You don't have enough stamina, brother horse. Come on! There's all the cows. Ah, god damn it! Yeah, because you have to you have to get to the other side of the train tracks. Ah, but my horse ran out of stamina. Well, this this runs a this runs a loss. <sighs> Leave me alone, Arthur. You know, I really wish I could. What? Did he die by himself? We lo we lost that one because Jamie the NPC tripped on a rock, fell and got crushed by his own horse. That had nothing to do with me. That this game over has absolutely nothing to do with me. This is some bullshit. We were right out of the gate too. Right out of the gate. Now I know I have to be worried about this kid accidentally killing himself. Were you? Because you just accidentally killed yourself. Come on, we gotta get a little closer, boy. Damn it, we gotta do this the hard way. I don't have to answer to you. Yeah. Just stop. And let's talk about this. Mm-hmm. Come on. This is the time. I can feel it. We're just gonna cut him off.
All right, these are all the cows. Let's go, let's go. We gotta go across the bridge. Ah, oh, thank God. Please, Arthur. Ah. I've found something. A calling. You're just a kid. You're making a big mistake. I'm not taking advice from you. You're an outlaw. You leave me alone. They're good people. I'm warning you, Arthur Morgan. Leave me alone. Please, kid. Put that gun down. I warn you, Arthur. I'm... I'm gonna... I don't want to live anymore. Kid, just calm down. Leave me alone. Lightly hold R2 to begin to fill the meter before... I don't know if that was the best idea to shoot him in the hand arm. Although I have, I have actually taken too long and have him shoot himself, and it's bad. Okay. Like your arms should be bleeding out. Have I been a terrible fool, Arthur? Yes. I don't know. Yes. I don't know enough about it. Yes. Yes. Well, one thing I do know. There ain't no shame in looking for a better world. I missed you, Arthur. Are you and Mary sweet on one another again? Oh, no. That's all a long time ago, son. Well, this wasn't how I thought today would turn out. It's been a long time, Jamie Gillis. You were a kid last time I saw you. you didn't try to kill yourself. You know... You taught me how to ride a horse. Too well, apparently. Salonia, though? Really? You'd fall for that? They were very nice to me. They're decent. I'm sure. Please tell me you didn't give them any money. Of course I did. They rely on charitable donations. Jesus, Jamie, come on. I just wanted to believe that there might be something good coming my way one day. Guess that's dead in the water. With the turtle. Shut up. All father kept telling me was, you won't amount to anything. You're not enough of a man. I had to get away. I couldn't take it anymore. Forgive me, but your father's a bully and a coward. Don't listen to him. Hey, don't talk about him like that. What do you want me to say, Jamie? He's a good father, nice man. He won't be happy I saw you. Please send him my worst regards. The thing is, he's right. I'm not good at anything. Come on, that ain't true. Tell me something you like. Um, uh, well, uh, um... Don't think too hard. Apples, I guess. Apples? Yeah, I love apples. Okay. <laughs> I was thinking more along the lines of carpentry or horses or something, but... All right, go work in an orchard then. By that token, you must really like shooting and robbing people. I only like shooting young idiots who run away from me when I'm trying to help them. Father told me what you do. I'm sure he did. Hey, are you still with Dutch and... What was his name? H Hester? Jose. Yep, still the same, sort of. And Annabelle and Bessie? I'm afraid they're dead. Shit. Maybe Mary did make the right choice. No doubt, but none of it is anything like the nonsense you read in the newspapers. So, are you two getting back together? I told you, no. Just ask me for a favor. You know Barry Linton's dead? Pneumonia. He told me. So the door's open, so to speak. That's all in the past. Different people now. She's not, and you seem just the same. She must be waiting inside. We going in then? 
still can't get over the fact that I shot him in the arm and he's not bleeding and we didn't have to care for his wound at all. sadness if it died in his bed but I'll come home for you my boy my sweet boy come on oh Arthur thank you thank you it's good to see you Mary and you Arthur and you You'll never change. I know that. I feel like the luckiest man alive, and I feel like a fool. That woman confuses me and plays me for a fiddle like no one else alive. I trust I will not make a god-awful fool of myself once more, but... Somehow, I imagine I shall. Alright. Well, I think we're gonna call it a day. But thanks for watching.